Wow, what is up everyone? We're in Griffin, Georgia today, exploring Griffin, Georgia for the first time. Good afternoon, everyone. Today's date is February 19th, 2023. It is Sunday. I'm not sure the weather right now, but it's nice and warm. It isn't cold at all. It's, uh, I think, in the upper 60s Fahrenheit, which is uh, the uh, lower 20s uh, Celsius. This is my first time in uh, Griffin, Georgia. I haven't been over here before, but I've been wanting to come over here since 2017. So we have uh, trains over here. Wow, okay. Railroad tracks over here, a train yard. This reminds me a bit of Atlanta, to be honest. Here we go, downtown Griffin. Pretty cool. They have a uh, parking over here. My mom is uh, parked down the street, going back uh, that way. Going back this way. But man, does it smell good over here. Guess I'll go up another block. Dan Wolf Games. Okay. Some music playing on the street over here. That's pretty cool. Let me keep talking over it. Savoy Financial Services Incorporated. Sounds like we've got some motorcycles going on. It's just one. It's a whole group. Awesome. Cool. Two people, welcome. I see two people on here. Welcome to Griffin, Georgia. This is my first time exploring Griffin. I have never been to Griffin before. Uh, I've been wanting to come here since 2017. Good afternoon, everyone. We're in downtown Griffin today. Let's see what they have over, over here. The Adventures of O.C. Nash. I could be uh, pronouncing it the wrong way. Let me go ahead and uh, toggle the mic here. Playing some old time swing music from the mid 20th century. Not sure what uh, song that is, but pretty cool. Let's see, what movie they, is this right here? Soul Survivors, 2001. Eliza Dushku, Melissa Sage Miller, okay. Most of these buildings are from the 1800s, so. They've been remodeled. It gives you that kind of uh, urban feel. That's pretty cool. City Finance and Income Tax Service. Okay. His, hers, with the Z, uni unisex salon. Okay. That's pretty cool. Downtown Griffin, welcome. There we go. Here's the uh, flyer. Four people welcome. Good afternoon. We're getting some people here. Welcome. This is my first time ever exploring uh, Griffin, Georgia, a brand new city, a brand new town I haven't explored yet. So I'm just going to walk around. Uh, Griffin growing together. This is a pretty big building over here. As a matter of fact, I'll. It's no weight guy here. It's just a clink. What's up, Will M saying hello, hello, welcome. 
We are in Griffin, Georgia for the first time, Willem. We're not in McDonough or Stockbridge or Hampton. We're starting to branch out now, going around uh, Georgia as promised. And uh, what a better day, what, what, one of the best days to do it, rather. It's sunny out here. Not really a cloud in the sky except for the horizon. They have some nice music playing here. That's pretty cool. On uh, Griffin Center, okay. Pretty cool. One Griffin Center. Here's their logo. Griffin working together. One Griffin Center. Cool, man. Well, M said, nice. Absolutely. This is really cool. Imperial Theater Park. Cool, man. Let's go. Let's go back this way. This seems to be the main boulevard of uh, Griffin, or one of them, Hill Street. I'll go this way and then go by that cool looking building down that way, maybe. Seems that there's a restaurant. Maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, check this little building out. PVT Alberta Smith, U.S. Army, born February 25th, 1896. Died in 1918. Died in service, World War One. Wow. Oh wow, I'm glad I came over here actually. What's up, Ivan Singh? What's up, dog? History of Griffin, Georgia. The city of Griffin, Georgia was founded on June 8, 1840 by General Lewis Lawrence Griffin, a former state legislator, general in the Georgia Mili Mili oh my goodness, militia. Militia, pardon me, man. Railroad man and astute businessman. <laughs> this is what happens when you throw cool historic words in there and uh, I just get to a city, man. Then you have me talking right now. But anyway, eight, in the 1830s, there were three railroads in Georgia. One ran from Savannah to Macon, one from Augusta to Madison, and the Monroe Railroad owned by General Griffin, which ran from Macon to Forsyth. A fourth one was in the planning stages which, could, which would run from a little town called Terminus in North Georgia to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Interesting. What's up, man? The statue of General Lewis Lawrence Griffin, businessman, railroad man, state legislator, and general officer in the Georgia Militia, who founded Griffin, on, Griffin Georgia on June 8, 1840. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm live streaming. Yeah, yeah. There's the more the rest of it around on the other side. Okay. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, uh, on the other side? I will uh, check it out. This is my first time in uh, Griffin. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This, I, I see it's pretty historic. It's kind of like, it reminds me a bit of like downtown Atlanta and a bit of Decatur a bit. Yeah. You, you like Griffin, Georgia? Is it cool? It's cool. Cool, okay. Cool, cool. I'm glad to uh, be here. It looks uh, urban, urban-ish. Urban, urban, urban like I'll say. And so I go like on that side. Yeah. It's around the corner right here. Okay. It's an interesting building. Yeah. Yeah. You got this building right here. Uh, yeah, the Imperial Theater, right? Yeah. Then we got this building right here. Okay. Oh, wow, Opera? Yeah. Opera House? Yeah. Cool, man. It, like, what, what year did was the uh, Imperial Theater built? Like, was that in the, am I guessing it right? Like the 1930s or yeah. 40s? Cool. Cool, man. And uh, the Opera House, is that like, um, is it around the same time? Or is yeah, it like... yeah, it's around the same time. Cool, man. Okay. Yeah, so that one is the 1930s and 1940s, around that time, early to mid-20th century. 
And so yeah, you, you want to check me out on YouTube? Uh, you can just like watch me walk around Griffin if you want. Okay. You got this one right here. You got the Opera House right there. Okay. Opera House been here ever since like yeah. 19, 1930s, 1935, some shit like that. Oh, okay. And you got it right here. You got this right here. Okay. 1935 or something like that, okay? Yeah. That's cool, okay? You can walk through here. Mm hmm. Hey, thanks for the tour, man. Yeah. Imperial Theater Park. Cool. Okay. Okay. Wow, okay. I like it, okay. It could be the old theater park. It's right here, it's all connected to the old theater park. Okay. This building right here? Yes, it's the old theater park. Okay. You can go right here to tell you what's all on the wall right here. Okay. Cool, man. Griffin Spalding Development Authority, July 28th, 1998. Warren K. Scoville Sr., okay. Executive Director David M. Lucky. Administrative Assistant Stephanie M. Wilson. Attorney Robert H. Smalley Jr. Cool, man. The architect of Corp C and Associates Inc. Griffin, Georgia. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And Stockbridge is on there as well. That's cool. Are you looking for all the old buildings? Uh, yeah, sure. My first time here. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you got. Information when you get okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Darn, I'm at the right time, man. Yeah, I got all this, man. I got this right here when this was made out of wood. I got everything. Cool, man. Okay. Oh, that's awesome, bro. We got uh, definitely. I would love to see that. That's cool. That's cool, man. We have old buildings. All this right down through here. Yeah. It's old buildings. Okay. All this right here, they're old buildings. Everything back in through here is old. Okay. Everything's in that way. Okay. Spalding County Courthouse, Annex 119. Okay. There's the uh, courthouse, the back of it. It's a really pretty area. This bridge right here? Uh huh. It's been here since 1987. This one right here, 1987? Yeah. Wow, okay. Did they ever remodel it? It looks yeah. kind of. Okay. Cool, man. So this has been here since 1987, okay? They just remodeled this bridge. Okay. They just remodeled all the remodeling on it. Yeah. Yeah, we remodeled everything. Okay. And then you come right here. This right here used to be an old church. Yeah. 
since the 1980s, okay? I was born since 1906. Oh, oh, 1906, okay. You go right here and you take a piece of it. Sure thing. Okay. In memory of uh, Luther J. McClendon, 1906 to 1992. Dedicated May 30th, 1993, okay. And this is the church right here. This uh, was built in 1906. 1906, cool. This is a podcast show? Uh, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. So it's, so it's like a live podcast site. Okay. I usually do tours anyway, so okay, you met up at the... Absolutely, brother. Okay, no problem, brother. <laughs> you're, right, the, brother. you're the tour guide, yep. <laughs> right here, you can get all this right here too if you want to put this out of there. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Okay. We got down here, and like I was, I'm gonna take you back to Doc Holiday's too. Okay. I'm gonna take you to Doc Holiday's saloon. Right down here, it's um, the same thing of another church that's been here for a minute. Okay. And then you know this church has been here for a minute. And then you got the railroad tracks. They've been there for a long time. Okay. They've been there since early early 80s, early 90s. Okay. So sometime like in the 80s? Yeah, like sometimes in the 80s. Okay. What's up? Nice to meet you, man. All right. Yeah. One of my viewers, Well M, said, tell him we said thank you. They're glad you're taking me on a tour, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. Y'all people are welcome, man. Anytime, anytime. Okay. Okay. This is the VA building. The VA building, okay. 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 This right here building here since 1980. Since 1980, okay. Yeah. VA building was put here in 1980, okay. Yeah, I'm going to give you all a tell them I'm going to give them a tour about this right here. Okay. This right here, I was telling y'all about. If you, yeah. If I can help you up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can get up here. Yeah. This right here, I was telling you about this doc. Okay. You can read it on the um, documentary form or whatever. It's an old. Okay. What? Doc Holiday Court, County Courthouse between 1852 and 1856. Doc Holiday's father, Henry, served as the county clerk for the for the newly created Spalding County. Prior to the Civil War, Henry Holiday owned numerous properties around Spalding County. Cool. Many of these properties were sold to fund the Holiday uh, families moved to South Valdosta during the war. Okay. One of his properties would eventually be de uh, deeded to the Confederate Army and repurposed as a training ground for Georgia troops. Wow. Holiday's land would be renamed for Camp or be renamed uh, Camp Stephens in uh, recognition of Confederate Vice President Alexander, I think it's Stephen, Stephens, Alexander Stevens, rather. Construction of this building was completed in 1860, four years after Henry Holiday resigned his position as county clerk. However, as, as uh, land or, landowners, rather, both Henry and Doc performed official business within this building. John Henry inherited the property on Solomon Street at the age of 21. According to local stores, that property would serve as the space for his uh, dental practice. Courthouse records show Doc Holliday signing for the receipt and sale of this property before heading west. The sale of this property in 1873 is the last time Doc is documented having visited his hometown. Wow. Doc uh, Holliday. And what's up, Joe T? Saying yo, yo, POV and all. Whoop, whoop. Welcome, Joe T. 
We're, on a, we're taking a tour of Griffin, Georgia today. Cool. This is really cool. Doc Holliday, the county uh, courthouse, 18. This is the old courthouse. This is the old courthouse. Okay. Oops. Wow. I know, right, Willem? Saying, wow, great historical information, uh, for sure. Hives for heroes, uh, disabled veterans, learn about VA special adaptive housing grants, retired or a veteran, reliance. President's Day, they're closed tomorrow. Original Spalding Court, County Courthouse, circa 1860, on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. Wow. That is really cool. There you go. Okay. Okay. The YouTube channel is going to be off the off the meter now. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> They're going to be watching this video and be like, hey, this is cool. And my uh, community right now that's on here, yeah. You can go to the back and you can take a picture of the back and stuff too, okay? Cool, okay. Definitely. Okay, whenever you get a chance, we can talk, man. You know, Absolutely. You, you can switch numbers and stuff, and then after you get through doing whatever you're doing, you know, we'll okay. down to talk. Absolutely, uh, for sure. For sure, definitely. Definitely. This is the rear of the courthouse. I hope that the signal is okay over here and that the picture is good enough. It's a really pretty day and I, I hope that the signal over here can hold up. Gara Latara is saying, hey, hey there, Galatarara. Or Gara Latara, rather. Welcome to Griffin, Georgia. We're taking a Historic tour around the city. Yeah, what else do you guys want to see? Yeah. What else they want to see? Exactly. There's much to see. What do they want to see? Yeah. Exactly. There's so much to see here. And also, is the signal over here okay, guys? Maybe a little pixeling it, but um. Depends on what part of the town you're in. So you can take you the whole tour right here. It's the whole thing. Cool, man. Tell him he's doing uh, good. Let him pick. He said to let you pick. Whatever you want to show next. All right. Whatever y'all want to see next. Okay. We got, um, you remember The Walking Dead? Yeah. Okay. We did, this is the alley that the Walking Dead did all the, um, all the filming out of in Griffin. Yeah. We got right here. Okay. This is one of the alleys that we did Walking Dead on. Yeah. Okay, these are some old, old, old buildings. Okay. 1980. 1980. This used to 
be an old cotton mill. Okay. This one, an old Doc Holiday building. You remember the building I was telling y'all guys about that one? Yeah. It's the same connected to this building. It's the wow. building from 1980. This building right here. Okay. You can see all the stuff they used to do. They used to make cotton out of this building. Wow, okay. Back in 1980, okay. Okay. See right here, this is what they used to keep all before they, before they closed this building down. Yeah. This is what they used to make out of it. If y'all can see, if y'all can, if you can get a close up on it, you can see in there what all they used to make. It used to be a cotton mill. Wow. Okay. Okay. Fascinating stuff. The cotton mill. I see the newer building across the street. Yeah. I'm gonna take them to the newest building too. Okay. So don't worry, I got more stuff coming. Okay. And then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take you to some more stuff and let you see. Okay. Yeah, this right here used to be a, a old building. This right here is one of the oldest, oldest buildings. It's been here since 1919. They remodeled, they built, they remodeled this building. 1919. Wow. Okay. Wow. 1919. Now it's Spice Logistics LLC. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. A hundred and I think uh, four years now. Wow. They just remodeled this building. This building has been here since 1980. Okay. This building here. They just remodeled this building. It's been here since 1980. 1980, okay. You think that it's probably about the same age as the other one, or is yeah, it like. It's about the same age, because, you know, they've been here. These buildings have been here okay. for a long time, man. See? You can tell how old they've been, you know? Yeah, definitely. With the. Um, because uh, I'm from Brooklyn originally, it has that kind of like Brooklyn yes. architecture. Yes, yes, yes. The brownstones and the fire um, stairs. Definitely. Um, I would say more like uh, Victoria, circa Victorian architecture around there. Okay. It's about the, it's the same age or around the same age as the other two. Okay. Okay. Definitely, yeah. Definitely, it's uh, yeah, that's the same age as the other ones. Ain't no more old buildings right here. This one, all the newest buildings that we got. Okay. But tell them I'm gonna take you to some more old buildings. Then we'll just, you can jump back online if you like. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Private Ruffus, Private Joe V. McDonald, served in World War II. He died in 1943. Old Mill offices. It's one of the mills I was telling you about. Yeah. yeah. Okay. building at some point in the past. Oh, this is right here. Y'all gonna love this building here. This building here been here the longest. Oh, wow. Okay. This building been here. This place used to be our newspaper building. Okay. This building been here the longest. This building been here for 14 years. 14 years? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And you can take a tour if you like. Absolutely, uh. For sure. Definitely, uh.
Okay. Oh, wow. You can tell it's old. Definitely. Wow. A lot of construction stuff inside. They're probably in the middle of uh, left over construction or they're just uh, had to leave it or something. Or maybe they're still using it. Yeah, there you are. Okay. 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 The cotton mill merchandise and market. Or uh, did I read it wrong? The cotton mill merchantile and market. There you go. The garden. Oh, that's a pretty cool alleyway. The garden. Yeah. The cotton mill, yeah. Merchantile and market. That's pretty cool. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wow, look at this. City of Griffin event schedule 2023. Second Saturday, downtown Griffin. Mardi Gras Mingle, I had a sort of that's right. that's dope. already passed. That's dope. Mardi Gras Mingle. Oh, really? You would love that. Okay, cool. You would love that. Dude, you talking about a whole bunch of old stuff? You would love that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. The Mardi Gras, the Mardi Gras Mingle that just passed, unfortunately, but yeah, it was on February 11th. They have the Clover Crawl, Shops and Hops, uh, April 8th. Okay. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Yeah, follow, follow Facebook Instagram. Definitely. Definitely. There's an old shop right here, Jay, that's repainted it. Cool. Private Robert A. Underwood. 1913 and 1944. Griffin Trophy and Embroidery. I'll take a little school break right quick. Yeah. Okay. Business cards, postcards, banners. Is this right here? Is this a bicycle uh, statue? That's pretty cool. You into old stuff? Yeah, a little bit. What are you into? into? So like uh, historical buildings, like uh, like historical architecture, somewhat like. Because I I am from Park Slope originally, but I've been down here for many years by now. So like. We can sit down and talk. Yeah. You're from New York. Yeah, I'm you're, from Brooklyn. You're from Brooklyn too. No wonder we got along, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I get. I knew you were cool, man. I'm like, hey, okay. Yeah, I'm right from uh, Park Slope in Sunset Park. Okay, okay. Absolutely. But I've been. I kind of grew up down here, but I still. I didn't lose my accent or any of that. Oh, okay, I feel you. Yeah. 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 Brooklyn is where the heart is for me still. Yeah, man. But yeah, I can sit down and tell you what I would like out and then we can go from there. Okay. Yeah, yeah guys, he's from New York. He's a fellow New Yorker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, Lim said, ha ha, cool. Cool. Yeah, man. I take a lot of my inspiration from... Um, a friend of mine uh, on YouTube, his name is Action Kid. Okay. And so he started doing a lot of tourism videos in New York City. He was walking like every day through uh, different parts of New York. Okay. And he treated his city like he was That's a tourist. Old. Cool. I'm not sure which uh, business this is, but cool, man. Hours Wednesday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, yeah, that's a huge building in there. Look at that. Wow. It's a huge warehouse. That could be a really good business right there. 
See what kind of old stuff you interested in, man. Like what all kind of old stuff you interested in wrestling in? I honestly, I still have to learn more and more about it, but like buildings like these, I can say Victorian architecture, brownstone, stuff like that. What you trying to get an old building or something like that? Definitely to tour it, sure. Okay, I'm like, gonna show you. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna see. Okay. Cool, man. Okay. Stop up uh, cool Christmas decorations. Cool. So it looks like it's a pretty nice uh, business. Pretty nice business. Conversational English, reading and writing English for adults, Wednesdays, 4.30 to 5.30. Well, M said, my family is originally from Blakely, Georgia, back in the 30s and 40s. I got to spend a week there at an Indian campground. Cool, man. Okay. J. William Wait Edwards Pavilion. We're going to go on break for a minute. Tell them I'll give me five minutes. Okay, guys, uh, give me about five minutes. We're going to go on break. We'll be right back. I'll just uh, leave the view of this right over here. We're going to have a quick talk.
Welcome back everyone. Um, I'll be with you guys in a second. There we go. I got you in there. Okay. I appreciate it, man. Sure thing, man. I'm, as a matter of fact, no. I appreciate sure thing, man. Yeah. You got some. You got some more buildings. You, you want to show us, or? Yeah. I can. Okay. This you got some down here. Okay. Yeah, man. I've been out here three weeks, man. Oh wow, man. Yeah, guys, uh, he lost his home, I think, due to a storm, right? Yeah, storm came through. Oh, gosh, man, he's been out here for three weeks. He hasn't really been able to get any sort of shelter, really, or he's just been out here for three weeks. It's really unfortunate in these times, and I just got his cash app, and if you guys could support him, Feel free to. Spalding County was created by Act of December 20th, 1851 from Fayette, Henry, and Pike Counties. It was named for Thomas Spalding, 1774 to 1851, native of Federica, one of the earliest cotton and sugar cane planters in Georgia. He was a legislator state senator, congressman, and member of the Constitutional Convention of 1798. First officers of Spalding County Commission February 5th, 1852 were Addison A. Wooten, Sheriff, Henry B. Holliday, Clerk Superior Court, James S. Wood, Clerk Information Court, if I'm saying it right, William L. Gordon, Ordinance Alicia P. Bolton, Tax R.E.C. Presley Burdett, Tax C.O.L. Hezika Wheeler, Coroner William Ellis Surveyor. This plaque was put here all the way back in 1956. Absolutely. Uh, if you want to support my brand new friend here, uh, he has a cash app, dollar sign, bad, bad, four, five, five, big, big. or big, big, pardon me, man. You guys can scan it with the QR code. Here's a parking big, garage. Dollar sign, big, big. Dollar sign big big four five five. This is Cash App, guys. B I G B I G four five five. He's been out here for three weeks, man. It's not easy at all. Uh, it's been cold, rainy, windy. You name it. All in the last three weeks. Hot. Even at some points, or not really necessarily hot, but. It's just been uh, no food, no water, no water. No food, no water, or wow, man. Oh my gosh. Please support my guy here, man. Please support him. He's uh, an excellent tour guy. He, we just met him today. He's a cool guy. He's an awesome friend. Yeah, you're a cool guy, man. Uh, so sorry to hear that happen to you, man. It's been. It's not been an easy time lately. Yeah. This is a parking garage over here. Yeah, it's a parking garage. Okay. Yeah, you got, we both have to go back to Brooklyn. <laughs> I miss Brooklyn, man. Like I said, uh, Take the four of me, I'll be happy, and I will get my room and go to sleep, man. 
Absolutely. For real, for real, for real. Really, guys. Uh, once again, this cash app is big, big, four, five, five. Dollar sign big, big, four, five, five. Yep. Dollar sign big, big, four, five, five. B I G B I G four, five, five. At any time during this video, please support my man here. He's doing an excellent job showing off the history of Griffin, and he has been going through the works the last three weeks, unfortunately, because of a bad storm. That's a cool car. Because of a bad storm that came through here. I think I remember that storm, too, because it was, uh, there was a tornado in Locust Grove, I thought, as well. It was. It came through. Man. It was here. Um, oh, wow, man. Solomon Street Barbers, Pinnacle South, uh, Sinister Suites. Man, these alleyways, man. Yeah. <laughs> Man, every time I see these uh, little town alleyways, man, it makes me miss Brooklyn, I'm telling yeah. you. Definitely. This is Doc, y'all. This is Doc Holiday. Doc Holiday Saloon? Yes, this is what we get. Okay. I'm gonna have to mute the microphone real quick. Okay, let me talk over the music. They're playing Earth. Okay, they're, apparently they closed this down, unfortunately. Griffin, stop work order, city of Griffin cold, compliance. Unfortunately, they're closed, but let's see, uh, yeah, Virgo Health. Doc Holiday, Solomon Street Dental Office. John Henry Doc Holiday inherited a portion of the property and allegedly practiced dentistry here while in Griffin. Thought to be originally owned by William McKee, Doc's grandfather. It was passed on to his daughter Alice Lane, Lane rather, Alice Jane rather. Let me stop reading it from the screen. Alice Jane, and later to her son Doc Holiday. At the time of Alice Jane McKee Holiday's death in 1866, Doc Holiday was only 15 years old, so the property was placed under the guardianship of his father, Henry Holiday. Wow, that's unfortunate uh, 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 for um, Doc Holiday. So, uh, Alice Jane died at 15. That's really young, man. Wow. Ownership was disputed in uh, Lown. Loundis County Court following the death of Alice Jane and the remarriage of Doc's father. The McKee family sued Henry Holiday for possession of the property. The jury awarded partial ownership to both parties and ordered the construction of a, a partition wall to separate the Holiday and McKee properties. The partition is documented in historic structural reports. John Henry Doc Holiday returned to Griffin to finally claim his inheritance in 1872 at age 21. After reportedly practicing dentistry here, Doc later sold the property and was soon on his way to Texas. Wow. Wow, man. It was hopping in the mid-1800s, man. In the uh, 1860s and 70s. Here in Griffin. When he was 21, and there's a must-be-21-to-enter sign right there. How interesting. Very interesting.
down to the end, that'll be all the old buildings. Oh, wow, okay. Our CLC custom prints. Yeah, man, I've been sleeping out here for three and a half weeks on the streets, man. People out here don't want to help you do nothing. They won't help give nothing. You know, I haven't ate in two weeks, you know. That's crazy, man. Jobs is hard to find out here. Yeah, man, jobs are horrible uh, these days. Uh, it's like you can barely get into anything, and then if you do, it's uh, not good a lot of the times. Exactly, man. Happy Days Barn Grill, okay. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Slices Pizzeria, established in 2007. Oh, wow. They have free Wi Fi here, okay? That okay, makes sense. I'm gonna let you finish your YouTube. Okay, man. I will give you, I'll give you something, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I'll really, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll continue to support you, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. All right. Okay, so. You want you want to watch my um, YouTube video on your phone? Just like to see where I am. I guess I go see what I can do. Okay. Let's see. And that's live right there, so you can just like watch me talk to. You, may, right. you can feel free to make a comment, and I'll introduce I'll put you. I'll my cash app inside your comment. Okay. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. All right. Have a good one. You too. A fellow New Yorker, man. He's been out here on the streets for a few weeks, man. It's not easy at all. He hasn't even eaten in a couple. We gotta fix that, so. He's going to put in a comment in a, a live chat. And for all of you watching in the future, uh, yeah, man, he's an excellent tour guide. And hopefully his cash app is still the same for a while. You guys can continue to support him. I'm going to see if I can give him something that I have. Because uh, it was close to call for me these last couple of months as well. He's a really uh, cool guy, so shout out to him. This is an old building here, as you see. Not even sure what's on the upper stories over there, but okay. Spalding shoe repair and saddlery entrance, okay. It's a really pretty day to go out in Griffin. This is uh, really working out really nicely. Once again, this is Claxton Herbs Pharmacy, established in 1950. Hey, okay. The mid 20th century. How about it? Galatara said, sorry about that. I was a little busy. Where am I at? I'm in uh, Griffin, Georgia. I just met up with this cool uh, guy who knows about Griffin, Georgia a whole lot. His name is uh, Big Big 455 That's his uh, cash app. He's been out here. Unfortunately, his house got, uh, I'm believing, uh, damaged really badly from a storm that came through three weeks ago. And he's been out here on the streets 
for over three weeks and had nothing to eat for a couple. And so definitely um, uh, he's going to put in his uh, cash app, I hope in the comments section in a second, the live chat. It's, if you're watching this, it's on the bottom part of the, uh, where you're at the comments, it should load up. You should be able to type in your um, cash app. I'm so sorry that happened to you, man. Galatara said that's sad, absolutely. It's been a rough year for a lot of people. 2023, it's, uh, it's been a new year, but uh, it's still continued the hardships of 2022 for a lot of people, unfortunately. Claxton Hobbs Pharmacy, established 1950. But welcome back, Galatara. Galatara, rather. Galatara. <laughs> Stop to get that name right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, we're in Griffin, Georgia today. We're just touring the town area. My first time doing this. I've never been in Griffin, Georgia before. Thankfully, it's been getting a whole lot better uh, for me to start going to... Uh, different towns as uh, promised, but it takes time, you know? This is a church, I believe, over here, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and check that out in a second. Wow, this is a cool car. This is a uh, Jaguar, okay. Is Griffin far from where you live? Yeah, it's some ways. It's about like, uh, I think like 15 miles or 20 miles from where I am. It's some ways. Definitely. Zebulon, McDonough, and uh, Jackson, it gives you the directions on which highways to take. Yeah, I'm, I'm some ways away from where I'm usually at. It's not easy to get to Griffin. You have to have a car to get out here. If you want to venture it by uh, cycling, uh, good luck, man. No, I didn't walk here, thankfully. Um, I, uh, I was driven here. I wanted to come here in 2017 on my uh, bicycle, but uh, it was too long for me to cycle at the time. The bike I used wasn't really meant for like touring cycling. Gaur Latara here is uh, our guide here. Here he is, man. I was trying to get into the chat. Oh, okay. So, so what you do is you, this live chat button, and there you go. Oops, oops. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Sure thing. this right here first lieutenant wr bill jones u.s army air corps wow okay heck our latar said you ain't got a new bike yet uh no i don't really desire to have a bicycle in georgia not like uh the area i'm staying at i could probably have it over here if i wanted to but i prefer not to it's just too dangerous to uh, walk or not walk, it's too dangerous. It is at some time too dangerous to walk, but uh, definitely to cycle is too dangerous. So I prefer to just uh, either ride or walk where it's safe. I've already uh, walked a lot where it really wasn't uh, hospitable for walking. It's pretty unsafe. Six people, welcome. you live in a house or an apartment? It is a house, but I don't want to give out any more information than that. I want to keep it confidential. But I'll say it's a house. Definitely, guys, if you want to um, talk to me more personally, uh, definitely feel free. And just, just as a blanket statement, too, 
just a general statement. You guys can definitely join my Discord community and uh, talk to me on there or follow me on Instagram, Dream Machine POV. I'm not sure what building this is, but we're going to check it out in a second. I'm going to walk back this way and cross the street. Oh, wow, that's uh, cool over there. You got uh, a water tank over there. It has Griffin on it. That's cool. It has uh, Griffin. It's, uh, it's a little bit. Let me fix the exposure real quick. That's a cool shot, though. Let me fix up my uh, camera here so you guys can uh, see it better. Let's see. You should definitely be able to see it now. Let me get that griffin uh, uh, over there for you. I have this at one two thousandth and it's not exposed the right way. There you go. One six thousandth. Let me do that. One four thousandth. There you go. Really cool. Got Griffin there. Okay, let me uh, fix the shutter. And here we go. having fun in his motorcycle. He needs to be very careful with uh, how fast he goes depending on the street. He knows these streets, he's good. Buns, launders, launder, launderers and cleaners. Let me read that again. Buns, launderers and cleaners. The video is a little choppy, okay? That means that the signal is not so good over here. I'm gonna cross the street where it's better. Thank you for letting me know that, Gara Latara. Eight people welcome, eight people. Welcome to Griffin, Georgia. My first time in Griffin, Georgia ever. I haven't been to Griffin, Georgia before, so this is, all, all of this is new to me, and uh, so far I'm liking it. I like the uh, historical architecture. It's a little bit urban. It kind of feels like downtown Atlanta or like uh, closer to a city with that old school, old town kind of charm to it based on the buildings. I really do like it a lot. Let me see, did this put it? Seems like the shutter is still a bit too low. Huh. Why is it, uh, let me put this on a set shutter then. 500, 1,000, maybe 1,000 can't really tell from that angle. Let's go ahead and uh, cross the street over here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna cross it over there then. And then uh, walk back the other way. So right now we're on Hill Street and what is the name of the street before that light turns red? We're on Hill Street and Poplar Street, Poplar Street, Poplar Street, there you go. Hill Street and Poplar Street, P-O-P-L-A-R. gonna walk the other side. I want to see this uh, building over here. First Baptist Griffin. I hope that the signal isn't too choppy now. We're about to uh, go to a better area. This guy's having fun in his motorcycle there. Some of studio walk-ins welcome. That's a cool looking building though. What is this over here? Terra Holia. Am I reading that right? Terra Holia. Tana. 
I don't know, man. I can't read cursive sometimes well. Jules Gallery, welcome new viewers saying treasures. Yeah, man, Griffin's full of it. Welcome Jules Gallery, welcome new viewer. Just for precautionary, because I've had in case uh, you're a good viewer. Welcome, Jules Gallery, nice to have you here. Welcome to the Dream Machine experience. Yeah, man, you gotta be careful, uh, you know, as a streamer with uh, spammers. Just as a reference. So this is the first Baptist Grifton, Grifton, uh, Griffin rather, a community of grace. Let me read that again. First Baptist Griffin, a community of uh, grace. Cool. So I'm gonna take a picture of that. Hopefully I have enough on here. I only had room like for a couple of more pictures left. Probably have room for uh, two on here, but I'll try and get something. That's just a really cool picture. I'll do it like that with the car going down the street. Jules Gallery, welcome new viewer. So, what's this? Chet Ham. Chetham, I think it is. Chetham. And uh, welcome center. And I see Ward over there. So, is this like some sort of. Uh, like a uh, police building before, but uh, now it's a church. First Baptist Grifton. Grifton. I keep saying Grifton. Grifton, rather. <laughs> what are you doing later? Um, what, I, what am I going to do later? Probably just uh, do some more uh, work and relax. It's Sunday, so um, we have to see what the week brings. But uh, this doesn't even feel like work, but this is really fun. Shout out to that cool motorcycle couple. Very friendly people. So you can actually do a U-turn over there and they have a bike lane as well. Guitar lessons in that building across the street, okay. Guy Latara said, I didn't hear what you said, sorry. Later on, I'm gonna, um, finish up some work and do what I have to do. We'll see what the week uh, brings, but it's been getting better and it should be getting even better this week, hopefully, but it's been kind of unstable uh, life-wise, so I have had to focus on my personal life lately. I hope you guys can hear me. The signal probably got bad again. I hope it isn't too bad over here, but I'm about to just uh, continue to walk out of this park. Seems like the signal is getting a bit better. But yeah, I'm gonna be uh, finishing up some more work uh, today. Hopefully I can upload, if they have good enough Wi-Fi, I can upload a YouTube video. I haven't been able to have proper Wi-Fi now in a couple of weeks. So all I had to do, I, I've had these live streams to work with, which is uh, perfect. I can talk to you right now, or perhaps maybe 15 seconds off, 10 seconds off, Gary Latar said, I think you said something about finishing up work. Yeah, I did. I said that because you said, what was, what, what was I going to do later? I said, uh, I'm going to just finish up some work and we'll see what the week brings. Uh, we have to see what happens this week. But it's been kind of unstable the last couple of weeks of uh, living-wise, but it is getting a lot better. Thankfully, uh, I'll say God is uh, making it better, man. It's a really pretty area. Why don't you buy your own internet though? I have to buy it first. <laughs> That's why it's, I didn't buy it. I have to still buy it. When I get some more money and I can uh, get it uh, nice and stable, along amongst other things, I can buy my own internet. Definitely. 
But uh, that's uh, what it's been the last couple of weeks. I've had to go to Wi-Fi hotspots. It's a really pretty area, and these trees are just now uh, starting to blossom. It's a really nice area. So this is the First Baptist Church of Griffin, Georgia. Let's walk over here. I'm going to probably plug in my power bank now because my phone is at 32%. My uh, uh, phone is at 32% and I need to get my power bank plugged into this so I can uh, charge it a little bit. I know, right? Garalatara, that's sad for real. It's been pretty sad for a lot of people. Uh, these last couple of months here in Georgia, and it's, uh, ha it hasn't been really much better for me. I, I'm thanking God himself that I have not been out in the streets homeless or any of that, but uh, money's been tight, but it's starting to get better now. That's the good news. Uh, it wasn't really good any of the last two months, uh, bad spirited people and etc. but I'm not going to continue to talk about it on the stream. I don't want to bring the atmosphere down. But I will say it's getting a lot better now. And that's what matters, thankfully. But that is pretty sad. I think the signal's not so good over here. So I'm gonna go back the other way. And loving memory, Kane Brown, he didn't even live long, 1981 to 2001? That's sad. He's only 20 years old. Or about uh, 20, he was 19. He would have been a, he, he was a millennial. But I get SSI can still afford internet though. Yeah, you can still afford internet with that. It, was, uh, it wasn't even that kind of uh, money, honestly, that I was even getting. I was barely getting anything at all. But thankfully, um, like I said, I had uh, I just met great connections and they helped me out a whole lot. But uh, we're going to walk down this street and uh, I think I just walked over here. I'm just on the other side now. I'm going to walk back on the main street of Griffin. Is this going anywhere? Is this 8th Street? Firehouse Subs, founded by firemen. There you go, Firehouse Subs. Oh, cool. Uh, I miss these kind of streets. It's a uh, corner street or diagonal street. It kind of reminds me of uh, New York a bit and other parts of Georgia, personally. Burger King. Let's walk back this way. South 8th Street and can't really read the sign from that angle. There you go. First Baptist Griffin. 106 West Taylor Street, Griffin, Georgia 30223. Okay. A community of grace. Once again. That's the zip code 30223. Okay. Let's go this way. That's a cool alleyway, though. Merriweather Street and South 8th Street. Let's go this way, actually. Got a few motorcycle, a few, uh, a group of motorcyclists there, rather. Harleys. Trying to get some speed in there. This is kind of awkward that, uh, oh no, no it isn't, it's uh, okay, they've got extra parking uh, over here for Burger King, okay, in case if it gets too crowded. That makes kind of, that makes some sense a little. Let's see what's down this alleyway and then I'll go ahead and loop back around and 
think I'll make my way back to the car. And I'll go ahead and end the stream there. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go ahead and show you through the car some of the outskirts of uh, Griffin. I just took Terra Boulevard 1941 all the way down here to Griffin. Uh, this is an old shop over here. What is this? Wait, laundry? Cleaners and laundry. It's a really old logo. It's a lot of rust. I think it's still open. See LED lights in there. It's still open. Thank, thank God, it's still open. It's still in business. That's good. Also, too, if the signal is really bad, that has a lot to do with my carrier AT&T here in uh, Griffin. That it's not a good signal over here in Griffin then, unfortunately. But I'll probably be looking into some other carriers in the coming months. I'll start to uh, expand it. Now we're on South 9th Street. I'm going to turn around and walk back the other way. Georgia Business Service Printing and Copy Center. Okay. Let's walk back the other way. Judicial Alternatives of Georgia. No one under 18 years of age is allowed in the building. You can't go in there apparently. So I've been able to go in there since 2014. Yeah, the signal is not so good, said Garlatara. That's so unfortunate. I'm going to have to get a pre-recorded video when I have enough hard drive space to work with in the upcoming month. And uh, I can definitely uh, take some high-quality 4K 120 FPS footage of uh, Griffin. I'll do a dedicated tour video, and then uh, which is already made at high frame rate, and then a version which allows you to watch it at high frame rate. Really cool. And so this is, uh, what is this street over here? South 9th Street, almost tripped there. Stepped on this guy right over there. Stepped on that guy. That's not good. I'm gonna go back the other way though. Green light. Let's go back this way. I wanna see this is but it's not giving it to me it's not a street sign I can so I don't even know where we are in this street anyway let's go back this way yeah yeah I can go to a cyber cafe that's what I mean with Wi-Fi hotspots Places that have uh, like cyber cafes, uh, free Wi Fi hotspots. Looks to be some sort of children's house going on. Must, mask must be worn to enter knowledge is power. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and walk this way. I was going to walk the other way. But it seems to be really peaceful going this way. Man, they have some really nice uh, places here in Griffin. It's really scenic. This building right here, this is total uh, photographer's paradise. So to speak. Could be taking pictures here all day. Kind of reminds me of McDonough. You save it, pharmacy. Weights, cleaners, and laundry. Weights, not lots. Interesting. Let's walk back to the town area and I'll go ahead and make a left through there. I'll go ahead and go this way then. That's the other side of uh, across the street. 
of uh, the First Baptist Church for Griffin. That's an interesting sounding bird. You guys just heard that. That's also a cool looking building. Cool. The Emerald Chandler, is that what that says? The Emerald Chandler? Pretty cool. Keep it still so you guys can see it. That's a cool. I hope you guys hear that bird. That's what that bird sounds like. That's pretty cool. The Emerald Chandelier. Cool. That's a nice building. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go this way instead. I was going to cut through the other alleyway. I'll go here instead. Carol Tara said, I guess it can be interesting during autumn with the leaves. Absolutely. It must look amazing through here during the autumn. I would love to see what it looks like in Griffin during the autumn. I'd have to visit. Definitely. So this is West Poplar Street, okay? And South 8th Street. Let's go this way. I guess I'll unplug my external microphone and plug in the power bank now. My phone is at 23%. Timothy F. Hamilton, DMD, Family Dentistry. Cool. They have a slightly new but pretty average looking uh, cracked driveway, but it looks like it was new. I almost thought it was brand new. Cool. David's Drug and Surgical Shop. Air piercing, lift chairs, compression hose. Okay. What a cool looking logo this is. It looks really nifty. David's Drug and Surgical Shop. Interesting. So I'm gonna go back this way now though and go back to the car. I think my phone's battery is on. It's, uh, it's getting pretty low. So I wanna make sure that we have enough to uh, at least uh, record the outskirts of Griffin. Maybe I can keep the high quality audio going a few more minutes. Let's go back this way. Absolutely though. Garlatar said earlier, I don't see it though. Probably the throughway, right? It's kind of deceiving indeed. Kind of. Oh, so this is the first Baptist Grifton. <laughs> oh my gosh. Once again, it's the First Baptist Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. I have to note it to myself, self rather. First Baptist Griffin Parking Family Life Center A. Okay, so that's more parking for the church. They have some sort of garden over here, pretty cool. So yeah, guys, and eventually when I have enough storage to work with and I have a stable Wi-Fi signal to work with, I'll do a pre-recorded tour of over here as well. But until then, you can watch this video and uh, the parts that are definitely clear enough and that you can make out enough. You could just study it and watch it. This is my first time ever and I thought I'd go ahead and do it live anyway, so. Now I know that the signal is kind of mediocre in Grifton, but uh, I felt my tongue wanting to say Grifton. Here we go again. It's nice green grass over here. So let's go over this way and uh, go back over to the town area. Merriweather Street.
You need to go down to Miami and hook up with AK. If he's your friend, you can stay in his place. I have to make connections with him and I have to contact him. I don't even. He's usually pretty busy on Discord. He's not really on there. And it costs money to go to Miami. Soon enough it'll happen when it's supposed to. Phone is at 19% battery. Let's go this way. And I'll go uh, down uh, the other street and hi. Uh, what is this over here? Wow. Personalized jewelry and gifts. AMS sold here. Okay. Let him send you a ticket. You keep saying he's your friend, but he's a busy man. Uh, We'll see in due time. If so, I'd make an, an announcement, but uh, we've both been busy, so we have to wait and see. Just give it uh, the next three or four months, the next month to four months. Because I've had my own schedule to keep up as well, just taking care of myself personally. But we'll see, we'll see. It's just been that kind of time lately. Passing by the Heath Tower again. Here's the First Baptist Church, looking pretty. Signal must be better over here. Okay, let me plug in, plug in my power bank now. plug or pull that up so I'm not using my external microphone anymore I'm using my uh, onboard microphone the rest of the way I have to charge this up now let's walk this way as a matter of fact now I'm gonna walk now I'll walk this way and then through there I guess and I'm getting I'm confusing myself let me go this way <laughs> I'm gonna go that way and then that way Got a Latar said I can't be calling nobody my friend if I don't have their number or if they too busy for me. That's just me. Yeah, I hear you. I'm also considerate too though. Um, he's a really busy YouTuber. He has uh, 380,000 subscribers. You have to count that. You have to count that he has 380,000 subscribers. That's a, a lot of work he has to do, and he's been traveling to New York and Florida, but I'm still a moderator for his channel, so maybe uh, one day I could hook up with him anyway. I'd have to let him know, though, instead of just showing up to his town, and you have to, it's all about business and networking. But I'll save that for another stream to talk more about uh, Action Kid, because he is a really good person. He's a really good person. So over here we have Bank Street, Bank Street Cafe. Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Thursday to Friday. It doesn't give when it closes, but 11 a.m. And Sunday, it's okay. That's confusing me. Hey, look at the schedule of this. This is kind of confusing here. When are we actually uh, open on uh, Sunday and Thursday and Friday? That's not a proper schedule. <laughs> Uh, I've never seen a truck that big before. It looks like a train. Oh, wow. That looks like a train, man. And I actually, speaking of a train, I heard a train going through Griffin a little while ago. Over across the street, we have, what's this? Grits.
It's a bench over here. I'm going to put my external microphone in my pocket. Do I have my book bag on me? Let me get away from the music. No more music. Please, YouTube, you already make it as bad as it can be. <laughs> Seven people. Welcome to Griffin, Georgia. My first time visiting Griffin. My first time ever. This is where I met um, Mark. That's his name. Big, big 45, uh, 455. Uh, big, big 455. That's his cash app. So, this is actually Spalding County, city of Griffin, Spalding County. Garolatara said, let me see you. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, guys. I just had my hair pulled back today, but I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, take off this uh, external microphone. I hope that the signal was okay-ish, at least somewhat. That was my very first time doing a tour of uh, Hampton, Georgia. I haven't done that before. So I'm gonna put this in my uh, pocket so you can see. Put that in there, stuff in there and there. I'm like, I, I don't have any sense, although I do. <laughs> So across the street, we have Grits, Safe House Coffee Roasters. Wow, we have a coffee and grits across the street. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Corner Cafe. I'm gonna cross the street and walk the other side going that way. This is Hill Street and Solomon Street. And so now we're going to cross uh, back over or across um, the other side of uh, Solomon Street and continue on to Hill Street. This is one, I think this is the tallest building here in Griffin. Well, I'm said I'm back. Sorry, I had to step away. It's okay, man. You could just rewind uh, the parts of the stream that you missed. Feel free to study it and learn from it what you need to. I'll be ending my stream in about like 15 or so more minutes. I've, uh, I think I've shown a lot of uh, Griffin. I think uh, maybe I'll go over this way. Some more plaques here. People who died, uh, wow, killed in action in Korea in the uh, early 50s, 1951. Early 1950s, uh, World War II. Corporal, wow, John, what is his name? Corporal John Phillips Jr., wow. Welcome back, Will M. Cool. Solomon Street Barbers. Whoa, that's a cool alleyway. Let me go ahead and uh, get a picture of this. This is really cool. Oh, not enough storage space. Let me make some room here. Let me uh, also keep talking over the distant background music. We're going to take a picture of this. Garvalatar said he met any girls lately? Somewhat. Well, Lim said thank you, thank you. Sure thing, man. Got to make this phone wait. Do, 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 do. Thank you. I don't really care about battery issues. Uh, I've already got a charge up. Look at that. Even the device care isn't responding. Let me get this right here. I just need something.
There you go. And then I'm going to take a picture of this alleyway. Yeah, well, I'm saying do it, absolutely. And Garlatara is saying that's cool. <laughs> The sky is kind of overblown, but cheese. I got it good enough. That'll do. I have five pictures left I can take on here. Let's see what's down this way. Jules Gallery said Mando's Rings collection. Really? Uh, I'm not sure where that is, but uh, I'm going to have to check it out. Definitely on the next time I come over here. I have to make it back out here to Griffin. It shouldn't be that hard now, but when I have time to. Tanja uh, tax preparations. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, prepare to mute this right, right over here. Wow, cool. This is a cool building over here. Glad I came over here. This is, uh... What building is this? It looks really nice. And look at the, uh, uh um... Springtime, uh, blooming with this. This is really cool. Let me get this right over here. It's all about the right angle. Mandel's Rings Collection. Is that a business over here? 141 West Solomon. Oh, Public Defender's Office. That's what this is. Here, I'll show it to you. Whoops. About to bump my feet on the stairway there. Public Defender's Office, West Solomon Street, 141 West Solomon Street, Griffin, Georgia. Okay. Huh, okay. Well, let's see what's down the other street over here. And uh, what is this over here? The United States Post Office Federal Building, Griffin, Georgia. So this is Griffin, Georgia's uh, um, post office. What's up, guys? Hi. This is pretty cool over here. So, yeah, Griffin, Georgia. This seems to be the spot over here. Garolatara said dating is hard for a real. A guy I got busy with started calling me his girlfriend and got real clingy. I had to block him. Oh, wow. They have a car wash across the street. A hand wash. Okay. That's classic uh, style. It has a classic looking, uh, like that 50s or 60s looking uh, style of cut with the, uh, don't even know what you call these, but uh, yeah. You can just tell it's an older building for this age. It's more um, Art deco style, styled. that makes any more sense. Jules Gallery said, nice cars. Yeah, they have some nice cars over here. They do. They have uh, some um, cars, too, that look like they were from the 1950s as well. They got a train track over here. It's this Griffin package. So that's a corner store over there. Got some train tracks over here. Someone I wanted to check out. This guy gets around the, the guy with the all twos number, 44222-2222. Alexander Shinara Entry Attorneys. Don't even know where these train tracks go, but I'm going to go back the other way. Let's go back this way. 
go back this block. I think I'd rather go up this way instead. That's another entrance to the post office. That's pretty cool. Daryl Latara said, are you Brazilian? I'm mixed. Uh, I do kind of look like I'm Brazilian, though. I definitely uh, can relate to some of their culture. But I'm a mixed uh, Latino. Mixed Hispanic. Welcome Griffin downtown. Cool. Uh, what is this across the street, actually? If I can get up closer to it. Then after this, I promise I'll go back to the car. And uh, see if I can get some of the outskirts. What is this over here? I'm going to have to get a picture of this. Let's go over here. And get this over here. Cheese. Can I even do that anymore? It did, but uh, it took it too late. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, head back. You know what, I'll take one more. I need to make sure that we're good. Is there a lot of Spanish people in Georgia? Generally, the people that we have in Georgia that are of Hispanic descent or Hispanic period are Mexicans, um, but we do have a fair share of mixture, but it just really depends on where you go in Georgia. But as a whole, yeah, we do have Spanish uh, people here in Georgia. They're mostly Mexicans. But I don't want to give uh, an official uh, readout because um, it's not necessarily true, but I'll just say, yeah, we do have Spanish people here in Georgia. We do. It varies, though. It looks like the, oh, we got to walk over the Grifton, the Griffin scaffolding, rather. Absolutely, Jules, art. Now, I'm not Mexican. I'm a uh, mixed Puerto Rican. From my dad's side. Let's go over to the scaffolding over there and check this out. That's another way I can go back to the uh, town area. If I can walk over here though, let's see if I can. I haven't been in a cool area like this since I was in Brooklyn, New York back in 2015. This is, uh, even McDonough, Georgia doesn't feel like this. We're kind of uh, tilted here. Let me fix this. It's a wee bit better, but okay. Sometimes this gimbal does its own thing. Griffin scaffolding, look at this, man. Got some businesses over here, but the scaffolding, as usual, is blocking the way. Hey, cool, guys. Seven, man, I'm made of steel. There you go. <laughs> because steel is sexy. House of Beauty Hair Salon, where we care about your hair. Walk-ins welcome. Cool, with a really pretty model right there. House of Beauty, and uh, they have a, a restaurant over here. I looked at it briefly, but didn't explain it. Ten hot wings with fries, six ninety nine. Not bad. Hot, just wings is the name of it. Six ninety nine for ten hot wings with fries. Huh. That's a really good deal. And kids wear, Elaine's kids wear. Okay. That's not really a throughway over that way. So I'll go back this way then. Or you know what? 
Okay, maybe I'm kind of lost here. Now I'm going to continue to go this way. I see there's another street over there and I'll go to the right. I'm not sure if that's an alleyway or a streetway. Oh, it is an alleyway, but it's kind of like a streetway. I could just walk over here. This is a church right here, but I'm not sure if it's open or not. Beanie's Barbershop. Oh, wow, this is kind of old school looking. Look at this. But they have a... Uh, Old school uh, pandemic signs going on, but they have way older school looking. No pets, drugs, alcohol. That looks like it was put on there in the 80s or something. They probably did that way after, but it's old school style, I'll say. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, we're in Park Slope, Brooklyn. We haven't been. I've been spoofing you the whole time. We're really in Brooklyn, New York. See, I'm messing with you guys. See, I told you that this right here, this isn't really Griffin. This is Park Slope, man. This is uh, Brooklyn, New York. I'm really back home. I'm not even in Georgia anymore, man. Like, really. I know, man. With my hairstyle, I'll probably... Uh, either take it out or something. I just had it pulled up. But as far as uh, Garolatara um, putting cornrows, that's just kind of time consuming. See that this is kind of buffering a bit too. That's the only thing I don't really like about uh, Griffin so much as the signal. Hey, <laughs> Garolatara said, oh my God, you sound like AK now. Yeah, me and AK even sound alike sometimes. We really do. We really do sound alike. Uh, well, Lim said that explains the scaffolding, right? <laughs> kind of, right? That scaffolding. Yeah, that does explain the scaffolding, man. That's like a Brooklyn-style uh, scaffolding going on. Garo Latara said, yeah, it's buffering. I'm going to take out my hair... When I get back to the car, I'm not going to fiddle around with it. I need to go ahead and uh, charge this up. Thinking I'm following him. I hope he doesn't. I'm just going to go over here. What is over here? So, a Impact Christian Ministries Community Outreach. Cool. Yeah, well, um, that explains it with the scaffolding, man. That scaffolding is Brooklyn. And I've been jinxing. I've been fooling with you the whole time, man. Think, Griffin, this is not even in Georgia. It was a pipe dream. Hey, this is some cool graffiti over here. Wow. Okay. Sixth Street. Cool. And they even have... That looks like uh, Ninth Street in Brooklyn. Speaking of, this looks like Ninth Street. With the uh, train tracks. That's the uh, F train right there. And... Guanas Canal. It's just uh, reversed here. It's just the train tracks are underneath and the cars go over, but in Brooklyn it's the F train and Guanas under there. Cool, man. I can be over here all day. This is uh, reminding me of home. Let me go ahead and... Uh... Ooh, this is not good over here, though. Let me get this cool picture, man. This is the most New York looking section of Georgia I've been in a while. Not even really Atlanta could really kind of imitate this. It's New York with all, all the extra headaches of a whole bunch of other people. When you get some actual money, you can get your you can get your hair styled. I'll see. Uh, you know, I can get it moisturized and fluffed out better. What's up, G? Cool, cool, cool. That 
Oh, uh, wow. This has to be the most New York looking styled, the, mo the most uh, New York styled building I've seen here is this right here. Definitely uh, up north. This doesn't want to let me take a picture. Where's the sectioning? Anyone could have just fall through that hole. Exactly. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't uh, section that off better, to be honest. Yeah, this section over here, you mean? Yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing over here. Carol Tower said, yeah, I get one of them Dominican blowouts. Exactly. I love Dominican uh, afros a lot. They're natural here. You just, they're just nice and big and fluffy and I'm definitely going to consider doing that. So a little girl on the other side, okay? Yeah, this is really bad over here. Not cool. <laughs> well, I'm said now all you need is sirens going. Exactly. It's really quiet for Brooklyn. Uh, we just need some ambulances going down that way, that way. We need more cars going this way. And then it would be Brooklyn. I could convince you guys I went all the way up to New York. That's Seth Griffin. That's okay. Uh, this is a really, really narrow sidewalk over here. This is really narrow, guys. Wow. Well, we're back on the main strip of Griffin. Let's go this way, because I went that other way earlier. Doug Hallberg, Rivers Insurance. Lucid Skate Shop. Hey, cool, they have a skateboard shop here. Look at all that. They have a huge skateboard shop with a whole bunch of graf different logo uh, skateboards on, on there, rather. It's a lot. I really must be in Brooklyn because the last time I was up there, there were a lot of people skateboarding in Brooklyn, New York. A lot of people were skateboarding there. The Cat's Hollow. Stay groovy. Stay groovy. Yeah, this is even some 60s and 70s inspired artwork and fashion going on. Some 60s and 70s inspired fashion and artwork going on. Let me keep walking. That's kind of edgy artwork going on there. They have a uh, powerhouse dance dancer registration. I see that the signal is kind of buffering over here, so I'm going to keep walking. What is this right here? Carolina Dogs. Okay. And this building was put here in 1892. Is that what that is? The Bailey Building. Now it's a hot dog restaurant over here. Cool. Cool, man. Let's go over here. Across the street, we got some train tracks. I'm going to take one more cool picture from this angle and get this whole area. And that'll cap off my Griffin, Georgia live tour. Guess I'll cross the street. I can. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and keep walking. Griffin and Spalding Chamber of Commerce. Five Point Station. I love trains, guys. I love rail fanning in New York City. And I guess I'm starting to kind of warm up to the trains here in Georgia. There's still trains. What's up, everyone? <laughs> What's up, guys? Cool. Shout out to them. Oops, I just closed out the camera. I need to take a picture of uh, over here. 
And uh, after this car passes, I'll be good. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Oh, cool. They even have this cool mural over there, too. I think I didn't even take a picture of it, but it was a train. It's like, I guess it was a train station over here before. That explains uh, a lot about why it looks the way it does over here. This used to be a train station. Cool. I'm going to walk this one last section and walk back to the car. I want to see where this curved train track goes. And... Then I'll go ahead and end the stream. Reunite up with my mom and we'll start making our way back and then I'll end the stream. This is really cool though. So uh, rustic and industrial. Got some nice looking grass over here. It looks really pretty. Could have just taken the streetway. Oh wow, this is a really nice way actually. Cool. And then I could just walk back this way and show you that angle. Chambers of Commerce. Let's take a view of that train track over this way. I may need some coffee after being out here like this. The temperature is starting to drop a little. Right now we're on West Broad Street and North 8th Street, but technically we're on Broadway and 5th Avenue in Brooklyn. I'm just kidding. It really does feel like Brooklyn, though, a little bit. It feels like several different cities to me. Brooklyn definitely being one of them. Joel's Gallery said, gonna sleep. Okay, man, you have a great evening. Thank you for joining my awesome live stream and seeing a bit of a brand new city right with me live. Have a great nap or a sleep. Have a great session of rest. Thank you for joining my live stream. Galatara said, I'm gonna go too. You have an awesome evening. Thank you for coming and joining me as I go live here in Griffin. I'll be ending my stream in about 10 more minutes. I said 15 uh, before, but it's been over that. These tracks have seen better days, so. Let's see if I can get it uh, curved. Let's go over here. <laughs> Hey, Willem said, not Jamaica, New York. Not really. Yeah, this is, this could be, I didn't, for one, I didn't visit Jamaica, New York yet. I have to still visit it, but I was in Brooklyn the last time. There we go. Let's walk the radius of the curve here a bit. This is pretty tight for a train. It's really tight. Wow. This kind of feels like New York, though. Especially with, uh... All right. Like, uh, especially that building over there, that kind of feels like New York. That feels like New York. It's the most New york feeling town to me so far that I've seen in Georgia, and I just got started, so we'll still have some more places to look at. Well, I'm said, very, very bad place. I know, right, with uh, Jamaica? That's not cool. 
Let's uh, walk back this way. You can already hear the flame scroll emitting from this super sharp, hot curve. <laughs> Let's walk over here. Let's walk over this way. Even it goes on a junction. Oops, it even goes on a junction that way. That's pretty insane. Go this way. Back to the parking lot. Actually, I can go on the street over here and walk back the other way. You step one foot in Jamaica, New York, it could go missing. Oh, not good at all, man. That sounds terrible. Oh, no, man. Well, then I won't be visiting Jamaica, New York. Oh wow, this is a sushi and steakhouse over here. Saki sushi and steakhouse. Cool. Yeah, I guess I won't be going to Jamaica, New York then. That's not sounding uh, good, man. Let's go ahead and go this way. And I'll go ahead and... Uh, Go back to the car and we're, we're going to end the stream. The sun is starting to go down. People are very friendly here in Griffin. So Griffin is definitely on the map for me to come and visit. At least right now it's uh, very hospitable. 003, so what, 2003? So, yeah. Yeah, this totally used to be a train station. Now it's the year 2023. Look at that alleyway right over there. Ace Candles and Spiritual Goods, LLC. Cool. That's pretty interesting. Wow. Let's go over this way. And uh, if I have one more picture left, I guess I could get that mural across the street and then go ahead and wrap this up. Let's get this over here. Hopefully I have one more picture left. Do I? Nope, I gotta make some more room. You can look at this right here while I uh, get some more room. Guys, this is dedication. I did the, all this walking today in my moccasin slippers, but they're pretty comfortable though. But still, I did that in slippers, so that right there is insane, right? Oops, Oops no. Let's get rid of this picture. 
and here we go, or that app rather. There we go. Cheese. Let's see if I can take one more. Got a focus phone. Cheese. There we go. Let's go back this way now. Got some more mom and pop looking shops up ahead. Got a lot of uh, people watching me here. That's really cool. Got a lot of uh, people saying hi to me. That's pretty cool. No weight guy yet. It's just a clink guy. Rocket Clank. Wow. Anthony Studios, okay. It's cool looking warehouse buildings like this where you could do like cool looking dance videos. This is a cool, is that a Lamborghini or is that a Chevy? I'll go over here. I hope that the signal is okay right now. I hope it isn't too blotchy looking, but that will happen at some point uh, if you don't know uh, the new area you're in. So I have to definitely watch over. Uh, It'll be soon enough that I'll be doing a pre-recorded video through here anyway. Signal may be not doing as well over here. I only see two bars on my phone. It may be a little blotchy. I'm gonna get this cool lamble if it even comes out on here. That's a Dodge. Uh, not sure of the model. I think it's a Challenger. No. Let's go over where the Lambo's going and check out what's over here. Wow, it's a loud engine. Five point station. Cool. I think he's talking to my mom over there. He is. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, man. This is the most looking. This is the most New York looking town I've been to in Georgia yet. Yeah, it's looking kind of like home, man. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. This kind of reminds me of uh, up top a bit. It is. If it isn't Brooklyn, it could be somewhere in Philly. It could be even in Chicago, too, though. Any kind of a uh, city like that. Chicago, Philadelphia, or Philly, uh, Philadelphia. I always get Philadelphia and Pennsylvania mixed up sometimes. Here's the Griffin Police Department, and I'll go ahead and uh, start wrapping up. Got bad signal over here. It'll get better in a second, guys. Griffin Commercial District. Cool. So this is the Commercial District of Griffin. Cool. Let me go ahead and uh, 
walk over here. And that's a cool looking street up there as well. Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna ride out a little and I'll end the stream in the car, so. It's a cool looking motorcycle, okay. Hey there, mom. Hey. <laughs> I, I took a trip up to New York City for just a bit. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah, they called it Griffin, Georgia, but okay. I really <laughs> honestly think that they mistaked it and called it Griffin, but it was really near Coney Island. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Griffin, Georgia is cool. It's uh, pretty urban in certain sections. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah, that's my friend I just met. That's my friend I just met. He's uh, really cool. Okay. Absolutely. But uh, he 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 hasn't had a place to rest in, in three weeks. He said, and he hasn't eaten in two weeks. Oh wow! Yeah. I would just say, like, you can make a, you can turn, yeah, like a U-turn. Definitely try to squeeze out the last bit of life out of this phone. It's at 4% now. Yep. All seven people watching, we're about to end the Griffin, Georgia live tour in a few minutes. If you haven't already, please smash that like button. It helps out so much. Um, I will be doing a pre-recorded video, hopefully in the next month or so. I'm going to give myself some time because I have to get a new hard drive and uh, make my way back out here. And hopefully when the weather is uh, cooperative. So actually, you can go to the right. So we're going to go over to the outskirts of Griffin, Georgia. Very friendly people. Like how how is how ironic and how funny it is that I met somebody from Brooklyn, New York, in Griffin, Georgia, that already looks Brooklyn. Mike. I met another New Yorker, Mom. Cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Absolutely. Like, uh, the chances of running into someone else who's from Brooklyn, New York, too. That's of really, course. really cool. <laughs> okay. I had no idea he was from New York. I'm like, what? <laughs> but I get, then I heard his accent. I'm like, oh, okay. Nineteen seventy six, wow. That bridge is forty seven years old. It's held up well over the years. Good going, nineteen seventies. Hey there, Daryl saying hi POV Dream Machine. What's up, Daryl? Been out here in Griffin for the past couple of hours. Uh, feel free to make a comment on the live stream. I'll be ending it shortly. We're just uh, doing a driving tour now of the outskirts outside the town area. They have crystals right there, or crystal rather, crystal, uh, McDonald's, base station. Cool. Great to see you here, Daryl. I'm glad that you can make it to the stream live before I go ahead and uh, end it. Dollar General, Mr. Nobody, or home of Mr. Nobody. That was an auto store? Wow. 
some sort of auto shop. The gas over here is uh, pretty expensive at $3.49 per gallon. You have a Dairy Queen over there, Chick-fil-A as well. The way these streets are designed remind me a lot of Decatur, Georgia, as well as my mom. They remind us of uh, Decatur. We have a lot of storm damage from some weeks ago. That's what uh, is going on. Food Depot, cool. It's the grocery store for Griffin. You have Food Depot. Yep. 1941, yep. Uh, Georgia 19 and 41. I think it's this. This one? Yeah. This one? I think so, yeah. Okay. Wow, yeah, they got a lot of storm damage. Fayetteville was 18 miles from here, wow. Okay, guys, this is the outskirt of uh, Griffin, Georgia. As promised, I would show you some of that. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream now with only 2% left on my phone. Uh, I squeezed it out as long as I could. But if, if, if you love this video, you love me touring live in uh, Griffin, Georgia, hopefully the signal was uh, strong enough and uh, good enough in certain sections. I think there is some buffering and low signal quality, but I will be doing a pre-recorded video hopefully in the next month or more. We'll see. Pass by an auto zone. Well, this area has a lot of storm damage. A lot of storm damage. Wow. But if you haven't, if you haven't already, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing to my channel for more awesome content. And I will see you all next time. Please don't forget to... If you love this video, donate to my uh, PayPal. It helps out my channel so much. You can donate to my PayPal or Ko-Fi. And please, a huge shout out to my man, Mark. Uh, his cash app is BigBig455. That is B-I-G-B-I-G-455. Please cash him some love. Show him some love and definitely cash app him if you want to. And anytime, you can do this 24-7. Uh, to support financially and without further ado i'm going to go ahead and end the stream thank you for watching everyone and have a great evening see you all next time uh, hey there daryl well M. Uh, i'll see you next time guys uh, thank you for watching and peace and i'll see you later thanks for watching and uh, more of griffin georgia to come in the near future and uh maybe some more towns of georgia too we'll see See you later, guys.